I recently came across an article, a blog post about St. Jerome, where the author concluded saying that St. Jerome would never be canonized in our days. At first, I was shocked. But later on, thinking better, I concluded, you know what, I think he's right. Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria. St. Jerome is particularly important for having made a translation of the Bible, which came to be called as the Vulgate. He was an avid student, a thorough scholar, a prodigious letter writer, and a consultant of the Pope, but most importantly, a saint. St. Augustine said of him, what Jerome is ignorant of, no mortal has ever known. St. Jerome was an outspoken man with a very strong temperament. He had the virtue of being a fearless critic and no admirer of moderation, whether in the practice in virtue or in his battle against the heretics. Sometimes remembered for his bad temper and unfortunately looked badly upon for his radicality against sin, some authors considered, consider that in today's world his canonization would be difficult if not impossible. But why? Because his way of being is not acceptable in today's world, where a permissive hedonism reigns, a realm where there is a total and constant submission to everything that brings pleasure and pleases the senses. And as a natural child of this phenomenon, a ravish relativism is born, with judgments do not obey a permanent criterion. Behavior is good or bad according to circumstances, personal points of view, majority of opinion, etc, etc. One does not try to live to proclaim the truth, but rather to relativize truth so that it suits our conveniences and desires. The twilight of values is one of the contemporary dramas. If you like this content, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and share this video amongst your friends, thus help spreading the word of God. Of course, in a world like this, Saint Jerome does not have a place and neither does any saint. And if we analyze today's gospel, where our Lord reprehends Chorazin and Bethsaida for not corresponding to all the graces that were showered upon them through the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, his miracles, his presence, the cures he performed, the demons he expelled, he too, our Lord Jesus Christ, God-man would be considered harsh, rude, hot-tempered, too incisive and not at all comprehensive, too radical, etc, etc. Well, the question winds up, whom do you follow, our Lord and his saints? Or the world. Remember, you can never serve God and the world at the same time. If you love one, you certainly will have to hate the other. May the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Sao Maria. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.